This is a Farm Max FDM-135. This has two large drums and three drum knives or blades per drum. Um, seems like most of the folks that I talk to call them knives. Um, we purchased this drum mower through Carver Equipment. Steve Carver out of Dunn, North Carolina. It came in a really large wooden crate for shipping and we had to assemble this drum mower. Now I'm gonna go ahead and tell you, um, if you purchase any of these drum mowers, you need two strong guys to put this thing together, maybe three. Uh, where the three point attaches to the actual gear assembly in the drums is very heavy, very heavy. And it's doable, it's doable uh, with uh, a couple of guys. You don't need any real special equipment, uh, lifts or anything of that nature. Uh, myself and my son-in-law and my wife helped. Uh, we got this thing together in about one evening. Um, I've mowed just a little bit with it and it does a phenomenal job. This is the smallest drum mower that Farm Max sells. Uh, this one is cuts four foot five inches and is perfect for a compact tractor. Uh, it's in the transport mode now directly behind the, the tractor. In just a moment, I'll show you how it swings around into the mowing position. It does come with a PTO shaft that you'll have to cut uh, probably to fit your machine. Okay, when we got home from uh, picking up this drum mower from the warehouse in Wilson, North Carolina from Carver Equipment in uh, uniform, this breakaway bar, which also is your main bar that locks the mower when you swing it around into the mowing position was missing. From the package, I went through everything with a fine tooth comb, every single piece everywhere looking for this part and it was not there. This was on a Wednesday and I called Steve Carver uh, in Dunn, North Carolina, the, the dealer that we bought the equipment from. I called him on a Wednesday, I think it was, and told him that I was missing this bar, explained to him exactly what the part was that I needed that was missing from my crate. And no kidding, the very next day, uh, and this was over the 4th of July week where the actual warehouse is closed down for inventory and for a week's vacation, I guess, for the employees. But literally, I called him on a Wednesday and the very next day, UPS delivered this part to my door. That is service. That's what I call excellent customer service. Okay, we now have the drum mower the Farm Max FDM-135 swung around and locked into the mowing position. As you can see, uh, we've adjusted the top link and the adjustable side link to get the mower level. Um, there's a few things that uh, you have to do to set these mowers up correctly. Um, and I'll show you some of those. Okay, when you hook up your new drum mower, or any drum mower basically of this style, your three point hitch right here, your top link, this is the top link, uh, expanding or contracting the top link in or out will actually make the mower turn this way to level it. So you'll need to level it to where it needs to go to get it good and level for a nice cut and your adjustable side link right here. This one will actually adjust it this way. Okay, when you are adjusting both of these links, one of the main things you wanna do is, and I'll walk around so you can see it, this floating bar right here, you'll notice a gap on each side of this pin. 
when you adjust these you want and you get everything leveled you want your pin right here to be in the center of this slot what this does it allow your drum mower to to move and dip with the contours of your land this this piece right here also when you mow make sure that this is pushed up this is the transport bar it keeps it locked from bouncing and floating while you're transporting it while it's slung around behind you uh, so make sure that's up adjust your links until the pin right there is in the center of that slot that gives you adjustment on both sides for the mower to move with the contours of your field for a nice cut So it's a few days later and uh, to give my final thoughts on the Farm Max Kowalski FDM 135 drum mower. Uh, I've mowed quite a bit with it and uh, I'm very satisfied with it. It makes a very nice cut uh, on your hay pasture. Uh, I also bought the uh, lift kit for the drums uh, that I can lift the cutting height up a couple of inches and I may play with that some this winter and try it next spring um, nature of a drum mower the way the the drums slide along the ground and uh, it cuts pretty low but uh, it does a very nice neat clean cut and I'm very happy with it uh, it cuts so nice and clean that the first couple of laps I made cutting hay, uh, looking back off my tractor, it almost looked like the hay had just been knocked down and was just knocked down and wasn't even cut. So I stopped the tractor and got off and looked and oh, it was cut and it, it lays it so nicely uh, that it almost puts it in a windrow for you. Um, and if you've got fairly level ground, you can use this thing on a subcompact easily. Uh, just be aware if you lift it very high off the ground and you're on any kind of slope that it does uh, throw the balance of your tractor off a little bit. It makes it very heavy in the back and light in the front. But if you're on level ground, that's no issue, uh, I don't think, even with a subcompact tractor. Um, but I'm very happy with the mower. It uh, is uh, a good value. Uh, the customer service through Carver Equipment has been second to none. And uh, it's a very well-built machine. I'm very happy with it.